Hello everyone, I'm Kevin Frazier and this is EA Sports Game Changer. Today, he's one of Green Bay's all-time greats, but Packers legend Donald Driver was actually living on the streets before he made it in the NFL. Then, few people survive a shark attack. Even fewer want to get back in the water. The amazing story of Mike Coots. Plus, you know the game. But did you know EA Sports Madden NFL almost didn't happen? Touchdown! We'll tell you why. And one of the most successful basketball coaches in history shares his secrets. Game Changers starts now. Hello everyone, welcome to EA Sports Game Changers. I'm Kevin Frazier. We're gonna to start today with a rags to riches story about an NFL hero. Donald Driver's incredible story starts long before he got to Green Bay to play for the Packers. It actually starts when he was a young child struggling to help his family survive. Life is precious and I would never take it for granted. Donald Driver knows the lessons of life better than most. The former Green Bay Packer great has won a Super Bowl, made it to multiple Pro Bowls, and has caught more passes than any Packer in history. But before all the good times, there were plenty of bad. As a child, Driver and his family were homeless. And you don't maybe understand just how difficult an upbringing he had. I mean, coming from very little, frankly nothing, living in a U-Haul trailer, from a kid growing up on the streets of Houston, Texas, uh, it was very tough, you know, because all I saw was guys selling drugs and guys stealing and robbing, and, you know, that's what I thought life was all about. Driver tells the story of this heartbreaking childhood in his best-selling autobiography, Driven. Dad was in and out of prison. Uh, when I was born, my dad wasn't even there. He tried to raise 17 beautiful kids, but he, uh, couldn't do it all. Driver's escape was athletics, which earned him a scholarship to Alcorn State University. After a stellar college career, he anxiously awaited the NFL draft. So many teams called that day, saying, you know, we like you, we're gonna draft you this round or that round. And first round went by, second round goes by, like sixth round go by, you see all these receivers are getting taken. Um, and in my eyes, I'm better than them, but to the scouts, I must not be. And then the phone rings. And my dad comes running out, screaming, Quick A! Quick I'm going, yes, Dad, what? Green Bay Packers on the phone. I looked at my family and said, we're going to be okay. In fact, Driver and his family were more than okay. For the next 14 years, Driver was the go-to target for Brett Favre and later Aaron Rodgers. And his huge smile made him a fan favorite at Lambeau Field. So many wide receivers are flashy. Look at me, guys. They make a big play, and they almost want to stop the game. That wasn't Donald Driver. And then never got hurt. He missed four games in 14 years. It speaks to the mental and physical toughness that he brought to the football field. I wanted to be successful. When you choose to be successful, that's when it all comes possible. Determined to inspire other struggling families with his powerful life model, Driver decided to do everything he could to support organizations that help his local homeless community, eventually starting a long-term partnership with Goodwill. Goodwill's mission is believe in the power work. And for me, that's all I believed in, is that if you work hard enough to achieve a goal, you're gonna reach that goal. Number 80, Donald Driver. Today's event is Goodwill's Retro Rendezvous, which is our annual fundraiser. And every year for the last 10 years, Donald Driver has been a big part of that. So the folks that actually attend this event have seen his children grow up right in front of their very own eyes. From being homeless to being a hero, I still pinch myself. Don't let a loss dictate how you live your life. If you want to achieve, you can achieve. But you have to believe in the power of work. For more NFL content, visit NFLRush.com.